Hi everybody, I'm Julia. Welcome to Julia Lives. Today I'm going to give you a full review of this Dyson V8 Origin Stick Vacuum Cleaner. I'll also show you how to assemble it. I'm not great at assembling things, so we'll see how this goes. I will speed up the video though, that way you don't have to watch all the outtakes and bloopers and times I need breaks because I get frustrated. I gave up on plumbing altogether like 20 years ago. But anyway, um, I'd also too like to show you my old Dyson vacuum. It's the Pet and Animal Hair Vacuum Cleaner. I've had that one for about 10 years and it has had it with me. So I'll also show you how that's held up. I haven't taken care of it, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't maintained it the way that it should have been, so maybe it could last longer. From what I've read online, most people say Dyson's last about 10 years, but I'd love to know input on that. What other people think about their Dyson or if they've had experience and how long you think it should last if it's maintained. I bought my vacuum at Target just before Black Friday started. However, they had the Black Friday deals going early. I paid $249 for the vacuum, plus I received a $25 Target gift card, so I felt like that was a pretty good deal. I honestly did not really look at the instructions much. I read them over and then got on YouTube and found a quick tutorial for how to snap this baby together. It's not really that hard, it's just a lot of clicking, and there's a lot of extra pieces of cardboard in the box. However, you wanna protect the vacuum and the other parts, so I understand that. But you'll notice I, there's only one attachment for the vacuum, so it will come with a long stick, so you can use it as a floor vacuum with this head, or you can take the head off, and you can also attach a hand piece too, which I'll show in just a minute. I'm taking it out here, this is the hand attachment if you want to you could even use it to do your car and i actually did vacuum out my daughter's car with it so here's my computer because i did end up using that instead of um instead of just reading through the directions i tried both but found it was much easier to look at the computer This thing that I'm trying to put on is really unnecessary for the assembly. It's a wall mount. So I put the wall mount on there not realizing what it was. And that would be a great thing to do if you want to secure your vacuum because it can't stand upright by itself. I'll show you that in a minute. But that wall mount would be handy. So that way you're, you have somewhere where you can just hang the vacuum and get it when you need it. This is the only attachment other than the floor attachment, but this is fine. You don't, this one does not come with a crevice tool. I was a little surprised by that because I do like to have one of those on hand. So if you need that, you might have to look at a different model. This is the battery light indicator. So you're going to have to keep this charged because there's no cord. Now watch it go. It really does pick everything up really nicely. There are two different suction settings. I use the max setting on these ceramic floors, but on carpet, I would turn it down to the lower setting. Otherwise, I've noticed a couple of threads coming off my carpet. Not this particular rug, but like my actual carpeting. I think it's just too much suction for it, so make sure you watch that so you don't accidentally damage your carpet. But uh, if you have hardwoods, that max setting works great. You'll notice too, it got stuck a couple of times. Um, and it's fine, you just have to let go of the trigger and let it reset itself. You'll notice here I get really close to that tablecloth 
and it doesn't get caught. My first Dyson would have probably ripped that tablecloth right off. I would not have trusted it. This is one of the downsides. It does not stay running if you let go of the trigger. So my house is about 3,000 square feet. And so you have to keep that press the whole time. The other thing is it will not stay upright. So you have to lean it against a wall or something if you need to set it down for a minute. And I would be careful with that because it is top heavy. I just wouldn't want to damage the vacuum cleaner, but it's very lightweight. As you can see, it's easy for me to maneuver up the stairs. I started off using the regular roller head like you would use on the floor on the stairs. And then I noticed in the middle of one of the steps, it was starting to pull the carpet up. And I don't know if it was from this or it was just coincidence. So I've stopped using that and I use the hand attachment. I'll show it to you again, but I showed it to you at the beginning too. I just feel like it's safer. And I don't know too if I might have had this turned up too high at one point, but either way, I wanna make sure I don't damage the carpeting on the stairs. So it's very lightweight. There's no cord to get in your way. I, I don't know about you. I have a basement, so I have two sets of stairs and that can be hazardous when you're walking a heavy vacuum up and down the stairs that has a cord. So here it is without the stick attachment. This would be great for stairs. I have used it, it works just fine, and I don't see any damage to the carpet doing it this way. So that's what I would do, and that's what I'll continue to do with this particular vacuum. Thanks to everybody for hitting that like button if you don't mind. It does good things to the algorithm. So people who are looking for videos on this vacuum cleaner will find this one. And thanks too to anybody who's subscribed to Julia Lives. I sure do appreciate all of you. Here is the pet and animal hair removal Dyson I've had for about 10 years. Again, I haven't maintained it like it needed to be maintained wait until you hear what this thing sounds like this is why i got a new vacuum it also was losing suction but let me know if you have any thoughts about why that thing was screaming like that it was just unbearable thanks again for watching this and i hope if you get one of these vacuums it does the job for you too